Evergreen webinar looks like on the back end. Um, Instant Customer is a uh, a product, uh, a communication product that lets you combine email and SMS mobile text and Evergreen webinars, QR codes, uh, direct-to-voicemail technology, and lead capture pages all in a single dashboard. So let me show you what uh, my most recent campaign looks like here. I'm building one for real estate agents, and if you are a real estate agent and you choose to uh, to take a look at this product, you just need to get in touch with me and I'll just give you the uh, the file so you can use it. So this is a campaign I'm setting up for real estate agents to help them attract leads uh, with a webinar about FHA 203k financing and that's the kind of financing that buyers can use to build the cost of repairs in the mortgage. Um, as you see the, uh, the, the the opening page here on the campaign shows you where your buyers came from, it gives you links to your uh, to your page, to your lead capture page. It gives you all kinds of templates. This is a lead capture page I set up to, uh, to help real estate agents who want to learn how to uh, present their own webinars and, uh, and take their business to the next level doing that. Um, the campaign on the back end includes uh, you know, subscribers. Again, this is one I've just, just set it up and I have just set it up you know, testing it myself so I haven't released it yet. Um, I've, so I've tested myself out three times using three different uh, techniques. Um, I can run social influence scoring on everybody in here, and we can talk about that at, at some other time. Uh, I have 13 autoresponders set up to correspond to this uh, campaign. To this campaign, I have uh, an email sent up, to, uh, set up, set to go to everybody as soon as they register for the webinar. I also have an SMS message that I can deliver to their cell phones right after uh, they register if they give me their SMS uh, or, their, or their cell phone number. Um, I have a voicemail message that I can send to everybody 15 minutes for the event. So I have a message in this system in my own voice that encourages people to go to their email and sign up and that goes right to their cell phone voicemail. That's a wonderful technology. So as you see here, I have a combination of, uh, of different types of outreach uh, to follow up prior to the webinar and after the webinar. Uh, and I have different messages for people in different uh, different circumstances. So I have one email that will go to people who are present who leave early. I have a different email to go to people who registered who, who, who were present but they arrived late, to people who were present uh, but they completed the entire event. Um, and also for, um, you know, email for everybody. So as you can see, uh, I have quite a lot of, uh, of autoresponders here, and this is all on autopilot. I can see at a glance how many people are opening, how many people are clicking through, and again, once you set this up, you can set it up and, uh, and it, it just runs on its own. Uh, next, let's go over and I'll show you exactly what the webinar looks like, you know, the webinar technology uh, in, the same, in the same platform here. This really is the only system like it on the market that lets you add as many communication channels as this to a webinar campaign. Again, I can add any more mobile messages I like right here just by clicking Add SMS. I can add any more email autoresponders, or I can add additional voicemail messages. Now let me take you into the back end and show you what the webinar actually looks like, how easy it is. And again, I can create this once and put it on autopilot and run it as, uh, as frequently as I like. So if I go, I'm editing my campaign, um, of course I can edit any of the campaign details, any of the opt-in chat, the thank you page, the voice, the greeting email, but of course we're talking about event down here. Let me let me just show you a little bit more here. I can I can get subscriber notifications by email or I can get them by uh, SMS text. But let's go to the event right. And I have scheduled it to be a recurring event 
that will be using video. Again, I have a, a, a video that's running and that will be the, uh, the basis for the webinar. I have it set up to run on, um, on Fridays and Saturdays between May 4th and May 25th. Uh, it will run at 9 o'clock in the morning um, and I can add other times. Uh, the reason I don't add a lot of times is I really don't want to make it look like it's available all the time because that's the, uh, the way uh, you know, videos look. Some people like to run it a couple of times in a day, so they may run it at 9 a.m. and then they may run it again at, uh, at 5 p.m. It's very, very easy to add any times that you want here. Uh, and, and once you add the additional time, uh, the clients will be able to pick the time that they want. Um, I have mine set out to show events for the next seven days. Again, you can limit that or you can ex expand that so that you can, you know, if you w are, are anxious to get people in and you want to create a sense of urgency and, uh, and, and a time limitation, you can set that any way you like, in any manner you like. Um, I, there, this is a place where we have the, the media file selection. On this particular one, I haven't set it up yet. I actually set the webinar details up first, and uh, I will be setting, uh, you know, inserting a, the file later. So, it, and that's another neat thing about this particular program. If you like, and you can add the, um, the video later on. Um, I can enable the chat. Uh, that means that there will be a live chat on the page. I have an app, a Facebook chat that will be appearing on this page. That will be live and that will be beside the video. I can either have that appear beside the video or below the video. Um, I can have cue points. So if I want to be, if I'm going to be selling something, I could have a buy button appearing. I could have a bonus offer. And you know, in, th in this case, I'm not going to be offering anything for sale, um, but I may have a bonus. I may have something like a PDF file that I'm going to be offering. And that bonus offer can be appearing on the page at any cue point, any point in time during the webinar. There are lots and lots of, of, of things built into this, lots of different types of images uh, that are included as part of, uh, of the system. Um, you have, again, I just have this one here. Uh, you can upload your own images. And you can also have a, a page appearing during your webinar that people can click through. And you can do that um, with, with one cue point or multiple cue points. So if you have a, uh, a point in your webinar where you would like to send somebody to your website, uh, you can have your website appear there. If you want to have a, uh, some type of a notice appear, uh, you can do that here. Uh, you may have a link to a to another kind of a file or a link to a video or something else that you want people to see and you can include all of that at the cue points um, that you that you designate um, and that is very very cool and that happens automatically you can um, have attendance actions also you can um, have different campaigns uh, that you can send people to after they are in this particular campaign so that if they didn't show up I could send them to another campaign if they arrived late I could send them to another if I want to treat those participants in a different way I can do that um, the way I have it set up right now I just have everything set up so that that's handled in my autoresponder but it really is a very very robust system and, and all that. So I'm not going to get into the nitty-gritty of all of the how-tos. There are lots and lots. If you take a look at this, this little, uh, uh, little light bulb down here, there are lots of tips and videos and all kinds of things if you need help. Um, if you are looking for any kind of support, they use Zendex uh, here and you can just type in a keyword. Let's say I'm looking for a word in there and then that will give me a list of different uh, topics here on, and how the tags work in different parts of the instant customer system. It really is designed very, very well. I highly recommend it. Um, you can work with, with the campaigns and, and broadcast, uh, you can follow up messages or broadcast messages. This works uh, with at least as much functionality as the best 
of the autoresponders uh, out there, uh, other ones available commercially, uh, is a very, very, very evolved program, and, and I couldn't recommend it more highly. Uh, as, far as, in, as far as the Evergreen webinars go, there's just nothing like it on the market that has that much choice in terms of follow-up uh, with clients and customers. So I, I think it's pretty neat.